What is cracking, bowlers? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant, bringing you some new updates from Storm and Rotogrip. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications. All right, I have been busy lately with a studio upgrade, but that's not stopping us from taking a look at some really cool stuff. Let's take a look at it now. This is interesting because these are in the overseas market and the question is, could they come stateside? I don't know, but this one on the left, the Rubicon UC3 tracks looks oh so delicious and the Storm IQ Tour purple on the right, okay? So what are we talking about? Over to the interwebs. First of all, I'm just giving you guys a peel uh, I'm sorry, a tease of all this new stuff. There's a bunch of stuff here that has not been covered in the overseas market. And this is one of many uh, places you can go. But we're going to go take a look at it here. All right. So we've got the Rubicon UC3 tracks. Okay. It's got the same core. The Basically, the difference between this and the original UC3 is that this is a Tourthane solid, where the other one was a Tourthane pearl that came heavily sanded, right? So if we look at the flyer, here's the overseas flyer. All the same stuff, 249 RG, 052 differential, 011 asymmetric differential. Again, that 011 to 016 is where I call the sweet spot. Um, Tourthane solid, 1000 grit Avalon, okay? So this thing's going to hook at your feet, set, and go. It's the exact opposite of what you would see with reactive resin where you're cleaning and then bumping the back. Your thing is right up front. So this, what are we going to use this ball for? Short pattern, sport pattern, or where you want to keep your angles in front of you. And I expect that with a little surface or for those high revers and high speed players like Jesper Svensson, um, this is going to be your ball when you just want to roll it and you're not looking for this thing to move like sideways in the back. Should be a very good sport ball. Okay, over to the IQ, right? So let's get right into the uh, spec sheet here. So this one's interesting, okay? We've seen a bunch of IQs, so same centripetal core, 249029 differential, but the big story here is this R2S Pro Pearl Reactive. Now, I'm having a senior moment. I don't, I feel like I've seen some version of Pro before, but I don't remember. So somebody can maybe do some research and drop me a comment in the fact, in the comment section. Have we seen R2S Pro Pearl? I feel like we've seen it maybe once or twice, but I don't know that we've ever seen it on an IQ. So what does that mean? If I was to take a guess, I believe some of these Pro uh, covers go a little longer and they're a little sharper off the back. And that's not gonna make anybody terribly upset. The question in my mind is, okay, what's going on here? And right up front, you can see this is the 1500 grit polish. That's the old style of finish. So 100%, like 99%, this is not coming stateside, right? When you look at that. But they could do it. They could do reactive gloss. They could bring it here. And I don't know why they wouldn't. This ball looks fantastic from a shelf peel perspective, okay? It's like right up my alley. So again, you would use this on the breakdown. And also the the fragrance here is caramel pumpkin right that's not too bad you know not too bad at all but what would you use this for this is a symmetrical pearl you're going to use this after your benchmark you're going to use this on where you have a fair amount of friction and you need it to be clean and you still want to control to the pocket of course some some iqs are known to be strong and some have been smoother i guess it really just depends on which batch you get as a bonus, we're also going to cover this. Uh, I got this bit, what is this? The Bite Frost. This is an overseas exclusive kind of ball. It's got this really cool core. Let's open this up into, oh, don't do it that way. Let's click it here and open this up and take a look. So Traction X7 Solid Reactive G2 Core. This is an asymmetric. This is a strong asymmetric. And this is reactive gloss, but it's not coming here. This line is just not coming here. But 247RG, 058 differential, 028 asymmetric differential. Uh, it's a solid. So basically, this is a polished solid. And we've seen reactions like this before. Um, it's going to be clean. It's going to be a late elliptical arc. And it's going to be continuous. So... It's too bad we don't have this over here, but we we'll probably have to change the nameplate because I don't know that that nameplate will sell very well. All right, back to the shelf peel, my favorite part of the review. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I love this Rubicon. Rotogrip, why do we not have this Rubicon here in the United States? This looks amazing. It's mean, it's raw, it's in your face, it means business. And if that thing was on the rack, everybody would know exactly what that ball is. 
the IQ looks good. Love this. Love the color of the font here. So I do want to see this go down the lane. And if I do get see a video come back, I may come back and do a secondary review and talk about ball motion on that. But so far, I'm going to say that the Rubicon takes it. That's what we got for today. Of course, if you want to learn more about this stuff and you really need it, head on over to the Facebook forums and take a look there. But don't be afraid or don't be surprised if someone quotes you $300, $350 shipped. That's the price you pay for overseas stuff. And I will leave a link to the Bullish Mart overseas section. They've always got a lot of cool stuff there. They do a lot of overseas balls. You never know. You might find something like that over there. So that's what we got for today. Let me know what you think. You know, which balls do you like? Do you like the UC3 tracks or do you like the IQ purple? And if you were to get one, what layout would you go with? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, bow well.